Hey YouTube, it's Mike here again today and it's Saturday. I'm gonna do a video today about my mail day and in that process kind of talk to you about how I catalog items into my collection when I get them. And today's a good day to do that because I got several things that will highlight different aspects of my collection. I'm not gonna show you every step as far as showing it to you. I'll describe it because I wanna keep the video reasonably short and kind of go through um, each item and show you what I'm going to do with it. So first up, I got a 1993 Topps traded set. I have every regular top set since 1973 and I've been kind of backfilling as I see them when they're cheap, uh, the different traded sets. So I have every kind of main flagship top set plus the traded set. In 93 I didn't have, I got it on eBay and it's here today. The second thing I got was in a package that I bought on Blowout from a seller on Blowout. And it's a Bob Feller uh, game used card, game bat, I guess that is. And it's part of my Hall of Fame relic collection. Another Hall of Fame relic that I got, same set. I think it's uh, 2003 Topps Tribute or something, uh, Jim Bottomley. Same set, uh, I got, let's see, who is this? Sam Crawford, another bat, neat looking card. Same year, but a different type of set, and that is a Duke Snyder, game used bat. So I do Hall of Fame relics, and I also do relics for players that I think are going to get in the Hall of Fame and a player that I definitely think is going to get in the Hall of Fame that I did not yet have a relic for is Mr. Ichiro Suzuki. He will easily be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Deserves to be for sure and this is a relic card that I got today of his from Alan and Ginter. I also collect um autographs of all the MVP winners and trying to work on Cy Young winners now. I've got 90 something percent of every MVP winner and so I'm really filling in gaps with uh, the Cy Young winners and one I got today that I didn't have before was Fernando Valenzuela. It's a neat looking Topps Tribute autograph from 2016 Topps Tribute. And the last one is, no mail day is complete without a new Hall of Famer autograph. Not necessarily a new player, for sure, or manager or whatever, but a new autograph uh, to add to the collection. And today I got, let's see, it's the best way to frame this. Bobby Cox on card, which is great. Not as a manager, but as when his time as a player with the Yankees. So this is a new card. Hall of Fame autograph number 1600 and something. So I got a set, I got Hall of Famer autographs, Hall of Fame relics, and star player relics. And so what I would do now is I take the cards and the autographs I'll scan in. I have a scanner right next to my computer. I will scan that in. Then I'll have those pictures, which I will then add to sports card album. So if you've never used sports card album before, it's photo bucket specifically designed for sports cards. I also keep images of comics on there too, so it can be used for multiple things. Uh, and I find that www.sportscardsalbum.com to be a great website. I'll then go add the cards to Zistle, Z-I-S-T-L-E.com. It's a database uh, online that you can use, similar to Trading Card Database. What I like about Zissel is you can add pictures and things of your cards. What kind of stinks about Zissel is they got bought out by Beckett. So the future of that website is certainly in doubt. But for now, I'm still cataloging my collection there as an online database. I also have my own spreadsheet that is 15, 20 tabs of the different aspects of my PC on a different tab. And so I will go catalog these items on my um, uh, my spreadsheet. People ask me all the time, how do you catalog values? And I really don't. Uh, my PC is my PC. I don't care what I paid for a card. I don't care what it's worth today. I have no interest in selling it. So there's no reason for me to 
track that, honestly. Um, in fact, if I did, I'd probably get a little sad about how much money I spent on cards. So I just have never had an interest in tracking the value, so I just don't do that. Uh, I also have a tab for the sets, so I'll put the set on there that I got, the 93 tops traded. So scanning, um, cataloging on Zissel, cataloging on uh, my spreadsheet, and then I will go and leave feedback for the uh, seller, whoever that was, whether it was on eBay or Blowout or whatever, I'll go leave feedback. I do that all the time. I hate not getting feedback, so I certainly don't want to be one of those guys that doesn't give feedback. And then the last thing I do is I put it in whatever box it goes in. If you've seen my other videos, you know I have a giant closet. Each card, I know where it goes. I know where to find it. Um, I have a box for my Hall of Fame relics. I have a box for my Hall of Fame autographs, for my star autographs, star relics. My set just get kind of piled in there, and so it will get filed away, so to speak, within the, the closet or wherever else in my card room that it needs to be going uh, for that particular item. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, love to hear feedback. I do plan on doing some videos on my actual spreadsheet, how it works, and how I separate things, and uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks.